previously on How Men Become Dogs. Cameron, you're home early. You having sex with another man in my bed, yeah, dog? You can't knock. Yeah, you, you ain't man enough for me. What? I don't remember the last time you did anything nice for me. How can you say that? What about Valentine's Day? We need to start being the type of men women really want. What's that? Dogs. Gentlemen, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about being a dog. Class is in session. Oh, hey, I'm Hamlet. Thanks for watching. So, let's get right into this business of how men become dogs. My newest client, Julian, Mario, Cameron, are all victims of women that didn't appreciate what they had in their men. Typical. See, let a woman tell it in. <laughs> a man is always responsible for a failed relationship. You see, in a woman's world, the man is always the one that lies and cheat and never appreciate the kindness of their partner. But in the real world, the one that you and I live in, a woman is just as guilty of these crimes. It's just that no one ever calls him out on it. <laughs> but fellas, those days are over. So, I know I'm a fair man, but I do believe there are two sides to every story. So I'll let you decide who was right and who was wrong. Honestly, I don't know what went wrong with Sam and I. I mean, I treat every woman how I treat my mother. That's just the way I was raised. But what I call being respectful, she called being a, a pussy. I mean, and then when I did certain things like try to show her affection, she said I was invading her personal space. She called me all sorts of names. Said I was soft as cotton candy. She called me sensitive. She called me weak. Me? Weak? Okay, maybe I did cry that one time I saw Toy Story 3, okay? Great movie. If you haven't seen it, go... Never mind. That's nevertheless. Honestly, Sam can appreciate me because she is a heartless... Build-a-bear. There, I said it. Whew. Whew. I'm a gentleman. I don't say that other word, though. Ever. Deep breath in. And release it slowly. I can't do this. Come on, Sam, focus on what you can do. Relax your mind, center your thoughts. Your energy is pure. My energy is hungry and nervous. What about ants? Focus, we are one with nature. That's what I'm worried about. Quiet, eyes closed. Yoga teaches us discipline. But I get it, I just don't get it. Can we try something else? Like, like maybe some kickboxing or something. Now that's more my speed. Yoga teaches nonviolence. It's what you need. I don't need this. Hell, I'm already nonviolent. The charges were dropped. My record was expunged. I was just defending myself. <sighs> Listen, it's none of my business, but this is obviously something you need. Or your supervisor would not have recommended you see me twice a week for your attitude problem. I don't have an attitude problem. Why do everybody keep saying that? Because you do. Duh! 90% of our relationship problems came from Sam's attitude. She made the basketball wives seem like the women's ministry. My boss is an idiot, and so is my ex-boyfriend. Julian is weak and pathetic. I don't need weak, sensitive, spineless men around here. Make me feel like I'm weak and powerless and defeats the purpose of having a man in the first place. True power is wielded quietly. Oh, 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 did you just tell me to shut the fuck up? No, it's not what I meant. No, because you don't know me like that. I will shut it down up in here. If you don't believe me, ask Julian. Oh, 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 wait. You can't ask Julian because his ass got the boot and his ghost. You know, you know, breaking news. This here anger management is some BS. So I'm going to go on here to keep it moving. If you can't help me, somebody else will. Deuces and middle. You forgot your shoes. Okay. For better or worse, richer or poorer. I mean, I know those are marriage vows, but shouldn't they mean something in a relationship too? I gave Megan everything I had and I ain't have much. And look where that got me, sitting here venting to y'all. So whoever said love don't cost a thing was lying their ass off. Megan, is that you, girl? 
Ooh, showstopper. I almost didn't even recognize you. I'm loving this new hair. New do, new me. Mm. Sometimes you just have to treat yourself, right? Say it, girlfriend. <laughs> and I know that Mario can appreciate it. Oh, no. Mario got kicked to the curb. Say what? He's yesterday's news, boo-boo. Time out, B. What's the tea? The tea is that I got tired of taking care of a grown-ass man. Mm. Okay, I'm the woman. I'm the one who should be taken care of. And you were going to be taken care of if you would have just been patient. Whatever happened to the days where a woman stuck close to her man when things got rough? I want a man who can afford to dine at more than McDonald's, okay? I want prime rib and cabernet. I want ski trips to a Swiss chalet. And she always said it was the small things in life that mattered. <laughs> Bullshit! Let me tell you what this Negro did, okay? We were supposed to go out for Italian. You know he had the nerve to heat me up some Italian microwave dinner? Oh, no, he didn't. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. The only time he took me out was for happy hour. <laughs> Girl, don't sweat it. Them fine ones is always flawed. Mm. Tell you what, if I can't get Shamar Moore to put a ring on this finger by the time I'm 30, we might need to hook up. You got a 401k? Collecting interest every day. Sounds like a plan. Mm. Although you might have to change your style up a little bit. I don't know if I can date a man whose pants are tighter than mine. Mm -hmm. Picky, aren't we? Obviously not picky enough. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Well, girl, you know, I'd love to sit and dish all day, but the mm -hmm. rent must get paid. Well, maybe if they fire you, they could hire Mario. He needs the money. Ooh, girl, you ain't right. I know, but neither is being broke. <laughs> girl, you ain't gonna worry me. <laughs> mwah, mwah. Love you, girl. Bye, honey. Love hurts. I had a black eye to prove it. I mean, can you imagine what it's like to get your ass whooped by the same man that's having sex with your woman? In your house, in your bed? Nah, because that type of thing ain't supposed to happen to men. But you know what? It happened to me. And I know I ain't the only one. Karma? Is that what you think it is? What did I do so wrong? <sighs> Love Jones. Best movie ever. Why can't life really be like that? Mm. I could barely get a man to cuddle me after sex. <laughs> Girl, I already told you. You mean the club don't cuddle? <laughs> well, damn, I'm sorry, but I got to get mine. Hey. hey. So you get yours, and he's got to get his, and nobody gets what they really want. Yeah. Wait, I always get what I want. OK, look. What one man won't do, another one will. Mm. Happily. Boom. Boom. So what's up with Kim? I haven't seen him around lately. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me he got the axe. Girl, tell me what happened. Well, I need details. Well, tell me everything. Really? Dang, since you guys must know, camera got me cheating on him. <gasps> and when you say car, you mean like legs in the air, face down, ass Jessica! up? Jessica! I thought you two were monogamous. That's funny, because so did I. It just kind of happened. So you just kind of gave him the address to your house? No, we got kind of Cam's house. Excuse me? Yo, that's gangster. I'm gonna need more popcorn for oh. I, I can't believe you. He could have killed you both. Kill me? Camera, camera can't fight, girl. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. Yeah. So, uh. you slept with old boy mm -hmm. at Kim's house. Uh -huh. And you got cut? Mm. Classic. Mm. Oh, Brandy, Cameron was horrible in bed. What was I supposed to do with that? You don't have to be so scandalous with it, though. Cam was a good guy. Cam was a good guy. Really? What are you, Team Cam? Really? I mean, look, mm -hmm. I'm not the bad guy. All I did was do what I had to do for me. I mean, it's not like we were in love or anything like mm -hmm. that. All he did was buy me stuff so he could take me out and show me out to his friends like I was like a sports car or something. Mm, girl. And girl, I'm not a Louis bag. I can't be bought. Girl, you don't have to explain. I'll take good sex over money any day. Well. <laughs> have you spoken to him since it all happened? No. No. He has been calling my phone like crazy, blowing it up, and leaving crazy messages. You don't want no good man. You don't want no good man. I try to be good man. You want no good man. Look, you better call me back or I'm cutting your phone off. Baby, I'm not going to cut your phone off. She ain't going to call me. You don't want no good man. Wait, 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 wait. I can explain. No, I can't explain. 
Wow. He sounds really hurt, Jess. If I know Cameron like the back of my hand, like he'll be fine. And I mean, like, if it doesn't work out with me and the other guy, then Cameron will be back. They always come back. Mm. No, no, no. And there you have it. Both sides of the story. Now, in my unbiased opinion, the women were flawed. I mean, what kind of a woman wants a jailhouse aggressive man? And another note, I'm starting to think that a woman that makes too much money shouldn't have a man. I mean, the higher their financial expectation, the harder they are to please. And trust me, ladies, it ain't worth it in our end. And oh yeah, the lack of performance in the bed, that's a tricky one. Now, I could see how one could fall short. But, however, you can always teach an old dog new tricks. Well, that's my time. Until we meet again, nurture your dog with love and care. If not, well, they might bite the hand that feeds them. And nobody wants that. Right, ladies? Right. Now that we're over, I found my closure. When you left me, it's like a car and me over. But it's okay, I'll recover from that. And what we had, you could never get it back. Original header?